2023, we're going to talk about how is it that you win in 2023. What is it that's needed to win in 2023? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Relax and replenish in. Yeah, that's how mine was too. You know, I don't really do the whole spend time with family. It's beautiful. I don't do the whole uh, turn up. <laughs> turn up thing no more, man. I like being out of nature. I like being out of nature. We about to get into it. We're going to talk about how is it that you win in 2023. Let me know if you're trying to win in 23. 2023. 2023. I keep playing too many twos. <laughs> Let me know if you're trying to win in 2023. Let me get some emojis. Let me get some emojis if you're really trying to win this year. If this is really your year, you know, every year people talk about this is my year. But if this is really your year, let me know in the comments. Give me some emojis. Let me know how you feel it. Yeah, there. All right, there we go. Give me some emojis in the comments. You about that win, all right. All right, Bet. let's get into it. Let's get into it. So in 2023... There is some pivotal things that's necessary in order for you to win. 2023 got to be fired. I ain't got to be fired this year, y'all. Y'all been praying for so long. Y'all been working for so long. Aren't you ready to reap the rewards? Aren't you ready to reap the results? So 2023, let me get to my camera straight. There we go. 2023, we're going to be talking about what is it that's necessary in order for you to win in 2023. A lot of times people always say that this is my year. Every year is always going to be your year, starting off in January. <laughs> and then we get to February, March, April, June. By June, everybody like, just throw the whole 2023 away, right? In 2022, everybody said it was my year. And they came four or five months in. Everybody went to just, oh, just throw the whole 2022 away, right? And that's what most people do is they start off in anything. But then that momentum dies down. That momentum dies down. So I'm going to be talking about a few things that you could do to truly make the whole year your year, not just to have motivation in January, not just to come out the gate one, run it, and then by Q2, Q3, you're ready just to throw the whole year away and get to the next year. Because that's what we do every year, right? So 2023, this is the first thing that you must do in order to win in 2023, right? I want you to write this down. You must work on your personal self development. You must make a commitment to developing your personal self, developing the value that you add to this world, developing your tool or sharpening your gift. You must make it a priority and a commitment to personal self-development this year, right? You must make that commitment to yourself. In order to, uh, in order to have more value, which is have more money, have more lifestyle, have more things, have more ability, have more abundance, right? In order to have more value in your life, you must become more valuable personally. You must become more valuable. So if you're not working on your personal self-development, then understand this. If you have the same mindset in 2023 that you had in 2022, then you're going to get the same results in 2023 that you got in 2022. So in order for this year to be different, you must be different. You must be different. The major key to your 2023 is you. Oh, I don't know, man. I'm about to, uh, I to write that down or something. The major key to your 2023 is you. It's you. I want you to write that down. I am the major key to having a successful 2023. Me, me, I'm the major key to having a successful 2023. So in order for this year to be different, you must start developing yourself so that way you show up as somebody different because if not, you're gonna have the exact same results. The reason that people in life and their quality of their life never increases is because they never work on increasing their own capabilities in this world. They never work on increasing their confidence. They never work on increasing their belief. They never work on increasing whatever that gift is that God has given to you. You can be able to paint. You can speak. You can take pictures, right? You're good at math. You're good at science. You have an imagination. Whatever that is, there's some gift that you have that you must start developing yourself. You must start developing yourself, right? So your personal self-development is going to be super critical 
for your year being differently. There's limitations that you don't know you have. There's ideas and thoughts that you don't know how to bring into fruition. There's opportunity that's right in front of you, but because you have a lens of limitation on, you cannot see that opportunity. It's like if you were standing outside and somebody's like, yo, it's sunny outside. And you're like, no, it's not. It's kind of dim out here. It's not. And they're like, no, look, it's sunny. You're like, no, it's dim. And they're like, yo, take the glasses out. You'll be able to see the sun, right? When you take out those, those lens of limitation, then you're able to see the opportunity that's always been in front of you. You just never look at it as an opportunity because you've never taken that off and seen things for what it was. And the only way to take that off is to start developing your personal self. You must start developing yourself. So for 2023, you need to make a commitment that in order for my 2023 to be different, me has to be differently. Me, I, I have to be differently in order for my 2023 to be different. And the only way that I could become differently is by working on my personal self-development, is by working on my, my mentality, is by seeing what is it that is going on in my world, what limitations are in my mind, what roadblocks is there, what breaks is there that I'm not even conscious of. You're unconscious to the things that are holding you back. If you knew what was holding you back, it wouldn't hold you back anymore. I don't care whatever. People say, oh, I know what's holding me back because Sudi is just procrastination. Well, why are you procrastinating? You, you didn't wake up and choose to say, you know what? I could choose to take action and I could choose to have my life, but you know what? I'm going to just pick procrastination. No. There's obviously something you holding to your back because you can't get yourself to stop procrastinating. You wouldn't want to procrastinate. There's nobody on this call that would want to procrastinate. So whatever you think is holding you back is not holding you back because if you knew what was truly holding you back, it wouldn't hold you back no more. Like, I want you to truly get that. Whatever it is that you think consciously is holding you back is not it. Because if you knew exactly what it was, it, wasn't, it wouldn't hold you back. When you sit there and say, oh, I'm procrastinating. Oh, I'm not taking action. Oh, I don't have the confidence. Why is it that you don't have the confidence? Why is it that you're not looking up those goals or those dreams or that business? So you have to start seeing what are the unconscious things that you have no clue that is going on because it's those limitations that are holding you back. It's like a car. It's like, it's like you're trying to step on the gas and you're trying to move forward and you're like, yo, why isn't this working? Because you don't realize that you have the emergency brake pulled up. The emergency brake or in those unconscious factors. It's those unconscious thoughts. It's those unconscious way of being. It's those unconscious con social conditionings that have been keeping you stuck. And if you want to get unstuck, you have to start getting out to the root of what is keeping you that way, which is going into your unconscious to start working on personal self-development and seeing what is it that's there that you have not, that you don't know is there. But if you start looking, you can start seeing. A lot of your problems you will have solutions for if only you took time to really start looking inwardly. Because I understand this, everything that is outwardly is a manifestation of who you are inwardly. Who you are inwardly is always seeking outward expression. It's always seeking outward expression. So the people in your life, the money that you have in your bank account, the situations, the obstacles, all those are there because it's who you are inwardly that is now seeking and it's manifested itself in outwardly fruition. So anything that is going on outwardly is always trying to teach you a lesson inwardly. We live in an eternal mirror. You're not just in the mirror when you're in the bathroom. You're in the mirror when you're in front of people. You're in the mirror when you're in certain places. You're in the mirror when certain things are happening in your life, certain situations, certain obstacles. And if you really get that, if you get that, that we live in this eternal mirror, then people will become your greatest teachers. Life will become your favorite book. Situations will become the biggest learning opportunities. Because it's never happening to you, it's happening for you. And it's not even just happening for you, you're creating it to happen. 
So instead of looking outwardly in 2023, allow your awareness and your conscience to go inwardly. Instead of pointing fingers at this and that and why is this happening, see, what is the lesson for me to get inwardly? What is the lesson for me to get in my life? Because when you start changing you, your circumstances start changing. Your life starts changing. Your money starts changing. Your environment starts changing. Everything starts changing when you start changing you. But you have to get intentional with looking inwardly. So that's number one. In order to have a 2020, a different 2023, I am the key to a successful 2023. Key right there in the chat. I am a key to a successful 2023. You have to get that for yourself. It's you. It's you. It's not nobody else. It's not your parents. It's not your best friend. It's you. It's you that is the major key to a successful 2023. So you have to get intentional on developing your personal self-development. Number two, true and change your surroundings. Invest yourself. I'm a key. Exactly. Number two is you have to start getting intentional. You have to start getting intentional with how is it that you're spending your time. Start getting intentional with how is it that you are spending your time. The easiest way to start doing this, y'all, my life took a different turn and different path. And I can tell the times where I'm doing it and I can tell the times I'm not, which is when I'm scheduling my day. But I'm actually taking time to schedule out my day. My days get more scheduled now because I have a lot of clients. So there's always calls on my schedule. But when you start scheduling your day, you start being intentional with the way in which you're spending your time. When you're spending your time, be intentional with everything. But most importantly, the way that you're spending your time. How are you spending your time? What is it that you're doing? Where are the hours in your day that you're performing optimally? You're performing at your highest capabilities. When boom, 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 you're knocking things out, you're on it. And then what is the times of your day where you're literally just wasting time? Typically, the wasting time period is when you're about to go to be going to sleep late at night. And then when you're waking up early in the morning, if you're not going straight to a job. I had to learn, yo, after about nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, like from like probably like eight to midnight type of thing, like those are not optimal hours for me to be working. Now, if I was up past midnight between like one, two, and three, I can make a lot of things happen then. But it's like eight to probably like eight to, to midnight. And the reason being most likely is because Every morning, I'm up at like 7, 8, and my clients start at like 9. So I'm getting up at least two, two and a half hours before I have my first client. So I get through my morning routine. So then in my last client, typically, we're in at 6, no later than 7. So by the time 6 or 7 comes around, I probably have did 6, 7, 8 hours of coaching, working on the basis, so I'm tired at that point. So around 8 to midnight, I'm not doing anything. But typically, I was used to tell myself, you know, I'm not going to go to sleep until midnight. So I'll be up at eight, but then I realized that that's a four hour gap where I'm literally wasting time. I'm not doing anything. So instead of just eating, replenishing, even if you want to watch one Netflix show or something, just to wind down your mind, whatever that is for yourself, then let me go to sleep. Because I'd rather go to sleep at 10 and then wake up at five. Because I'm effective when I wake up. When I wake up, I'm effective. When I wake up, I read, I meditate, I sit with my ancestors, I write down my goals, I listen to audios, I manifest, I visualize. So if I know that at night is a period where I'm not going to be effective, then why not just go to sleep so that way you can wake up and use that time to be effective? You need to start being intentional with the way in which you're spending your time in 2023. See the areas of your life where you're wasting time. See how you can start replacing things. What do I mean by replacing things? 
The easiest way I tell people to read a book is to put it in the bathroom. When you're sitting on the toilet, what are you doing? You just get on your phone. You're just scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on Facebook, scrolling, watching people fight, watching people do this. So why not just have a book right next to that? So that every time you sit down, boom, you just easily pick up a book you read. That's being intentional with your time. You have a 30, 45 minute commute to work back and forth every day. Instead of listening to rap, why don't you replace that with audios? I don't care if you say, you know what? On my way there, I'll listen to an audio. And then on my way back, I'll listen to R&B, hip hop, whatever it is. Even if you just replace one way, now you're getting three hours. Let's just say it's 30 minutes. Now you're getting 30 minutes a day of personal development in your life. Now you're getting three and a half, four hours a week of personal self-development. Right? That's four hours a week more that you're adding that you're actually adding some level of value to your life because you're being intentional with the way in which you're spending your time. You're seeing, let me look at the way my time goes right now. And where is it that I could pull, uh, replace things? Where is it that I could substitute things? This is not even telling you to do something new. This is telling you to wherever you're already doing, how is it that you can replace it to start being intentional with the things that you want to learn? If you want to learn how to start a podcast on your way to work, turn up the music and start listening to YouTube videos. Mm. How is it that I start a podcast? If you want to learn how to have more confidence on your way to work or when you're waking up or when you're in the shower, right? These are all the times where I just have audios playing. If I wasn't talking to y'all right now, I have my headphone and I'll be listening to the audio all day. But in the morning, the first thing I do is I put on the audio. Why? Because I'm already having to sit there, brush my teeth, take a shower, wash up, lotion, arm my clothes, put it on, cook the food. That's the hour and a half, two hours that I could be listening to a book. I could be listening to an audio. I could be listening to a TED Talk. So you want to start being intentional with the way in which you're spending your time and how is it that you could get the most out of the time that you're already spending? You're already in a shower, so why not listen to something? Even in my shower, on my wall, or all of my goals in my I am. I'm happy and grateful now. I'm happy and grateful now. I am the greatest facilitator of human transformation. I attract money easily, fluently, and abundantly. All my goals is instantaneously met by greater force because I'm one with God and God is everything. All my IMs and everything are on my shower. Why? Because I'm already sitting in the shower. I'm already just standing there, letting the hot water hit my back. <laughs> y'all know y'all like this being in the shower, letting the water hit y'all back. <laughs> right? So I'm sitting there. I got to just be looking at something. I'm looking at a world. So why not be looking at my goals? Why not be looking at the things that empower me, that feed my mind. Why not be having an eye needle playing in the background? You're already there. Start being intentional with the way in which you're spending time. Yes, like Desiree said, ask yourself, what can I be doing right now to manifest my goals? Be thinking about that. Record yourself playing your goals. Record yourself saying your goals and listen to it. Record yourself saying your IMs and listen to it. So you need to start being intentional with the way in which you're spending your time. In 2023, time is too valuable to be wasting it. Wasting it. And this is not even telling you to get new habits. This is telling you how to do things to optimize the ways in which you're already going throughout the world. You're already driving. You're already doing the dishes. You're already washing up. Hopefully. <laughs> you're already brushing your teeth. Right? Yes. Small changes that can lead big dividends come happen for me. Exactly. Yeah, shower vision work, work. Exactly. You're already doing these things. You're already doing it. But you're not doing it intentionally. You're not doing it intentionally. That's the only problem. You're not doing it intentionally. And the reason it's a problem is not because I say it's a problem. It's because you want to get your goals so anything that is not in alignment with the life that you want to have is a problem. There's nothing good or bad in this world. The only that is relative and is based off of perspective, and a lot of it is just based off of agreements. Because at one period of time, it was bad for black people and white people to be together. 
that was it was long. So whoever says what is good or bad is typically just based off of agreements. But for me, it's only a problem if it's not in alignment with the life in which I want to have. If it's not in alignment with the purpose that I want to fulfill. So if not being intentional with your time is in alignment, they keep doing it. But if that's not in alignment and you know you need to be intentional with your time, then again, I like what you said, Desmond, audit and optimize. Exactly. Audit your life. Look to see what is the thing I can do and optimize it. These are small things, y'all, that you can already. I'm not even telling you to change your whole schedule. I'm not telling you wake up at five in the morning, do this, do that, all of these different things. I'm literally telling you the thing that you are already doing. And if you were doing it more intentionally, your life, the quality of your life would be radically different. Of every morning, you didn't roll over and get on Facebook, but you rolled over and listened to an audio. You rolled over and grabbed your journal. I can go to my bed right now and show you. I'm even at my mama's house and it's there right now. Right there is a book. It's going to be a book. It's going to be a journal. It's the first two things I do when I wake up. I put on the audio, I read a book, read a chapter, write down in my journal my goals. Start being intentional. Start being intentional. So number one, in order to win in 2023, is you must start personally developing yourself, personal self-development. It's the greatest thing that you could ever do in this world. In order to give more value out of life, you have to become more valuable. You have to give more value to it. And the only way you can become more valuable is by personally self-developing yourself. Number two is being intentional with your time. Being intentional with your time, optimizing your life for success, having your goals up everywhere, having your IMs up everywhere, having a, a, a playlist. If anybody needs a playlist, message me right now after this. I literally have a playlist on YouTube that has over 100 different videos, and I've listened to all of them multiple times. Personal self-development videos, motivational videos. You may not like uh, audio books because there's no music. I like music in the background. That's why I got music on right now. When I study, when I read, when I speak, I like having a uh, music on. So I like listening to motivational things that have like the music playing in the background. So you must start becoming intentional with the way in which you're doing things. Becoming super in everything. If I promise if all you were were super intentional with the way in which you were doing things in this world, your life would be way differently. And then number three, number three, this is one of the huge ones. This is one of the big ones. Everybody is writing down goals in 2023, but nobody is writing down habits in order to get those goals. You don't get your goals. You get your habits. You get the, the result of your habits. If you had a habit of waking up every single day, studying your business, doing everything that you needed to do for your business, you will reach your goal of however much money you want to make. But if you have a goal of, I want to make a hundred K, I want to make a million, whatever that is, but your habits is procrastination. Your habits is not researching. Your habits is the moment you go to research, you get distracted. That's not going to get you that goal. So instead of writing down goals for 2023, I want you to write down new habits. New habits. Don't even worry about the goal. Just write down new habits. Because the habits that you have are going to start producing visions. It's going to start producing a new idea, new thoughts for your life, a new way of life. You're going to start seeing it. I promise you this. If you're in the gym and you have a habit of being in the gym, you're going to start looking at yourself in the mirror. You're going to be like, oh, my God, I can just imagine what is it that I'm going to look like when I keep working out. So you don't even have to have a goal to I want to be this fit or whatever. Because your habit is going to start allowing you to form a different vision of yourself by consistently doing something. If you have a habit of, of your sales, you have a habit of every day I'm going to make 50 calls, you're going to get the money. You're going to find your has to. You can't call that many people and you not make money. If you have a habit of every single day, I'm going to wake up listening to personal development. I'm going to at least read a chapter. I'm going to look myself in the mirror and say my I am. And then before I go to sleep, I'm going to do a quick 10 minute review of my day. I promise you, you don't have to make it a goal to be happier. 
You don't have to make it a goal. Your happiness is going to allow you to be more happy because you want to be self accessing yourself at all times. And happiness is going to be inevitable. Success is going to be inevitable when you have a habit of going to work on your business every single day. So I want you to think about what is that habit that you know you need that will get you to your greatest future? And two questions you can ask yourself. These are two great questions, phenomenal questions. Is number one, what is it that you're doing that you get a benefit out of that you know you need to stop doing in order to get your goals? What is it that you're doing that you like doing that you know you need to stop doing in order to get to that life you want to have? I want you to ask yourself that. Yo, what is it that I'm doing that I like doing, but I know I need to stop doing in order to get to the life that I want to have? So you may like drinking. You may like smoking. You may like Netflix Netflixing all day, binge watching shows. You may like going out to the clubs. You may like going just to spend money when you want to buy things. But you know you need to stop doing that in order to get to the life that you want to have. What is it that you're doing that you like doing that you know you need to stop doing in order to get to the life that you want to have? And what is it that you're not doing that you know you don't want to do, but you know you need to do in order to get to the life that you want to have? What is it that you're not doing? that you don't like doing, but you know you need to do in order to get to the life that you want to have? If you answer those two questions, those are going to really reveal what are the habits that you need to get rid of and what are the habits that you need to pick up in order to have the life that you're desiring. What is it that I'm doing that I like doing that I know I need to stop doing? And what is it that I'm not doing that I know I don't want to do, but I know I need to do? to get to the life that I'm going to have. If you answer those two questions, and those are going to be things that you need to get rid of and habits that you need to pick up. You don't get your goals. Your habits get your goals. So it's focus on developing habits. Focus on developing a habit of reading, a habit of going to the gym, a habit of researching, a habit of self-assessing, a habit of observing yourself, becoming an observer of self. Why is it that this is making me upset? Why am I getting frustrated right now? There's nothing to be frustrated about. Why am I just, why did I just lash out on that person? What inside of me is coming out? I have a habit of observing myself. So I don't stay mad. I don't stay frustrated. I don't stay anxious. I don't stay doubtful for long. All of those things do creep in, but it never happens for long because I observe it. Why am I so anxious right now? Ah, oh, Kasuda, because you're, you're so focused on that goal. You're so focused on the next thing that you're not being present with everything that is going on. All right, cool. Check. So let me be present. Start becoming an observer of self. Because when you're able to do that, you're able to start self-assessing uh, self who you are, where you are, where your emotions are, where your limitations are, and then you're able to pivot and adjust to where is it that you need to be. It's like a plane. They tell you that when a plane is flying, let's just say from LA to New York, it's off track 95% of the time. But it has a self-assessing mechanism inside the plane to where it's never off track long. It's, it's, it's like continuously course correcting, course correcting, course correcting, course correcting, course correcting. The whole time it's course correcting. But it's off track. But it's course correcting so much that you wouldn't know it was off track because it lands and it gets there. Well, that's how your own personal life is going to be. You're going to have to have an internal self-assessing gauge that you're consistently course correcting within yourself. When those doubtful thoughts keep or creep in, you course correct. When you start procrastinating, you course correct. When you start getting frustrated, you course correct. When you start getting anxious, you course correct. When you start doubting yourself, you course correct. When you, start, when you stop believing, you course correct. But that can only happen when you're being an observer of self, because then you can control what you see and not be controlled by what you see. A lot of you are controlled by what you see. You see your bank account, so that controls your emotions. You see somebody do something, that controls how you feel. You see the news, so that control what you think about your life and what's possible. You see somebody else do something, so that controls 
or that person can do it, not me. You're so controlled by what you see instead of you controlling what you see. So I'm going to control what I see. So I'm going to create wealth to pop up in my bank account. I'm going to create places for me to travel and to go to in this world. I'm going to create the circumstances in order for me to do something, to have something, to be something. But I can only do that when I'm constantly self-assessing. So I want you to do those three things this year. Do those three things this year. Make your 2023 the best year. But number one is focusing on your personal self-development. I cannot stress this enough. It's not about, oh, well, I don't have the money to pay for coach. I don't have the money to pay for this. Y'all, I didn't get into personal development when I got a coach. I ended up getting a coach because I was already in personal self-development. Go to YouTube. YouTube University. Have you ever heard of it? It's the best university in this world. Any problem that you're dealing with, go to YouTube and type a motivational video behind it. So if you're dealing with confidence, type in confidence motivational video, uh, motivational speech. Type in motivational speech behind it. If you're dealing with belief, type in belief motivational speech. Confidence motivational speech. Motivational speech, whatever it is. Peace motivational speech. Patience motivational speech. How to win motivational speech. How to get in the gym motivational speech. Whatever you want, there's a motivational speech for it. And that's all personal self-development. Any book in this world, typically any major book, New York Times bestselling, the best books they all tell you to read is the free version is on YouTube. But again, you got to be intentional about getting the information because if not, you allow your excuses to overcome you instead of allowing your goals to overcome you. So do those three things, y'all. Personal self-development. What did I say number two was? I right, be intentional. Be super, super duper intentional with the way in which you're spending your time. Audit and optimize. I like what Desmond said that audit and optimize. And then number three is really write down new habits. Adopt new habits for your life. Adopt new habits. If you do these three things, God intentional about yourself. God intentional about your time. God intentional with your habits. Your 2023 will truly look differently. But in order for this year to be different, you have to do something differently than you, do, than you did last year. Or it's not going to look that much differently. Look at the last five years of your life. How differently did each year look? Like, was it radically differently? Was it a little? My life is radically five years ago. I was on house arrest, y'all. And my mom is basically making $11 an hour making bagels. Five years later, I have clients that pay me more than I made two years making bagels. They paid me one client, paid me way more than what I made two years of making bagels for Walmart. And I have multiple clients like that. My life looks radically differently. But it's because I focus on myself more than anything else in this world. I focus on my personal self-development, making myself more valuable so that way I'm more valuable in the marketplace. I'm super valuable now. I would not have been as valuable five years ago. I would not have got a client. I think I was charging $50 a month for coaching five years ago. <laughs> and now it's thousands of dollars a month for coaching. I made myself more valuable. So now the market looks at me with more value. I want y'all to do, do those three things this year. Y'all got any questions? Is there any, any questions? Any questions, any questions before I get out of here? Been a little more than 30 minutes. I really want y'all to win. I really want y'all year to be differently. Y'all deserve it, man. You got to know that you deserve your goals. You got to know that you deserve. You're more than enough. You're worthy. You're more than worthy for your goals. You deserve it way more. You deserve to have the life that you want to have. You deserve to have the money that you want to have. You deserve to look at your bank account and let that signify how much you're worth. You deserve for your bank account to match your worth. You deserve to manifest and have all this that you want to have, but you have to get intentional. What's up, Josh? You have to get intentional. Do those three things, personal self-development, get intentional, and then uh, develop new habits. Self-assess. What is it that, I want you to write this down and give it to you one more time. What is it that I'm doing right now that I like doing 
that I know I need to stop doing in order to get the life that I want to have? And what is it that I'm not doing that I don't want to do, but I know I need to do in order to get the life that I want to have? I really want y'all to win. I appreciate everybody for tapping in. Every Thursday, 6 p.m., I know today's Friday. Uh, my bad. Yesterday, I had calls running over with clients. So every Thursday, 6 p.m., tap in with me. I look forward to seeing y'all next Thursday. What do you write in your journal? Uh, so I do one thing. First of all, I write down personal. So I just write down, um, like, recapping my day, recapping my week, whatever happened. You know, I look to write every single day. So I just write down, like, what's going on uh, in my life. I look at my journal, Desmond. This is kind of how I look at my journal. It's like, like, if I had to pass something down to my kids, like, I look at my journal like, this is going to be what my kids will be reading down the line. Like, the same way I want my kids to read books. Imagine if your kids had 20 years of your life in a book, but it was your own intimate thoughts, your learnings, the things that, you know, uh, were personal. To learn the personal lessons that you've learned. So I always write that down in the journal. And I kind of also write it down through the lens as if I was teaching them something. You know, if I was teaching my future self something or teaching them something, right? I always write down things that I'm grateful for. And then I write down these things. I write down my goals. I write down what are my goals that I'm manifesting on, right? There's an A type, B type, and C type goals. I'm not going to get into uh, goals, but basically, like, what is the major goal? that I'm working towards for the next two or three years. What is that major goal? And then I write down what I call a manifestation list of just different things that I'm manifesting on right now. It could be something I'm manifesting on the next week, something I'm manifesting on the next month. But typically my manifestation list is things that I'm manifesting on with no more than like a, a, a year time span. Typically no more than like three, six months, but Typically, no more than a year. Because when it's like that year or two goal, I write that goal already down every single day. I look at that goal. Right? I look at that goal. And then I write down my manifestation list of something I want to see come to fruition here soon. And then what are the things that I'm grateful for? What are the three things that I'm grateful for? So my major goal that I'm working on for the next, let's just say, one to three years, one to five years, even 10 years, my manifestation list, things that I'm looking to have happen in the next six months, between six months and 12 months. And then what is it that I'm grateful for? What are a few things that I'm grateful for? And then I just journal my thoughts and everything, man, as if my kids are going to be looking at this down the line. So that's what I write down in my journal every single day, every single day, every single day. That was a good question, y'all. Any other questions before I get out of here? Any other questions? Speak now. Or forever hold your pants. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate everybody for tapping in with me. Uh, I know uh, we went 40 minutes. I hope that was worth the 40 minutes of your Friday. Meet me here. No, actually, don't meet me here. Beat me here next Thursday, 6 p.m. Have an amazing weekend, y'all. Look forward to speaking with y'all soon. Peace.